excited to have you back. Howdy. It's been quiet without you. And we're excited to tell you a little bit what we're going to have this season at the winter walkthrough. It's, it's cold enough to be winter, right? Yeah. 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 We turned up the heat in here to make it feel a little more wintry. Um, <laughs> I'm Jefferson, if you don't know me. I'm the marketing manager here at Kentucky Kingdom. And I'm Carly Uglo. I'm the sales manager here at Kentucky Kingdom. So it's great to have all of you back. Lots of familiar faces. So great to see you guys. Let's get right into it. So. As most of you probably know, Hersham Family Entertainment became our majority owner and operator about this time last year. So it's been a great year of learnings for them, just kind of understanding who Kentucky Kingdom is, who our guests are, what they want to see, and just gathering all that information and really becoming a part of the Kentucky Kingdom family. As of January 1st, they are now our, our sole owner and operator, which is so exciting for us. And we're just really excited to be able to learn from all of the experience they have and knowledge that they have of our industry and really just be able to help us out with that. So if you're not familiar, these are um, all of the brands that Hershen owns. So you might be familiar with some of those. And there's 23 different locations across six states. There's over 11,000 employees and 14 million guests annually. So this is just a great company to be a part of and we're so excited. Um, to see what the future holds with them. So a new initiative that was just launched through all of Hershen's properties is a program called Grow You. Now this is a program for all of the employees to receive 100% free tuition, which is something that's so exciting for us to be able to offer, just to really give back to our employees and give back to our community to make sure that they have the opportunity to pursue their education and focus on growing themselves, help the company grow, and then help the community as well. So it's exciting, it's, um, it's available on the first day of employment. So as soon as you work for any Persian property, you're eligible for the program. It's available for all seasonal, part-time, and full-time positions. And um, it uses Guild Learning Marketplace as the company that it's provided um, through. So companies like Disney utilize this program and others as well. So it's a great program and we're so excited to be able to offer this for our employees. So going along with that, we have a lot of great employee incentives here at Kentucky Kingdom. We are focused on giving the best guest experience possible and that wouldn't be happen, that wouldn't be able to happen if we didn't have the proper staffing levels every year. So this year we have actually raised our starting pay rate to $14 an hour for those ages 16 and older. So we're really hoping that will be a competitive um, pay across all different areas in Louisville so that we can have a lot of staffing and be able to operate um, and fulfill all the guest needs that we have. So in addition to that, we have opportunities for advancement. Jefferson and I have been here for several years and have seen that firsthand. So we love to really give back to our employees if they're doing a great job. We want to invest in them. We want to keep them here and help them to grow their career and hopefully just be a success here at Kentucky Kingdom. You also get a free season pass when you work at Kentucky Kingdom. You can visit on your off days, which is super fun. Um, we also have other, we get in free to other regional attractions, so other parks and things like that. We also have exclusive team member parties. And it's just really, um, we want to focus on growing our family here at Kentucky Kingdom. We want to know everyone that we see working in the park and make sure everyone feels included and happy to work here. So that is a major initiative that we're focusing on enhancing and growing in the future. So, while you guys are here, new for 2022, we're going to start with something you may have already seen, most of you have seen this. We're excited about our new tiered season passes. This is going to make it really, really easy for our families and our friends and everyone here to really be able to experience Kentucky Kingdom at different kind of levels. We have the silver, gold, and pre-K, which Carly will talk a little bit about. Yeah. So, silver season pass is our lower tier. This is going to be what most people are familiar with, with our previous regular season pass. So, obviously, you're going to get unlimited visits to Kentucky Kingdom and Hurricane Bay all summer long. This includes free parking. You're going to receive dollar soft drinks, which is normal, um, and refills all season long. You'll get 10% off food and retail, as well as cabanas on select days. And you'll get one free bring a, tent, bring a friend ticket sorry, um, to use during the season. Now let's talk about what the Gold Pass has to offer. The Gold Pass has all of those things we just discussed, but it does have some additions as well. So. The main benefit that you're going to get as being a Gold Season Pass holder is that you're going to have access to these exclusive pass holder events and access to the park, which you guys will learn about very soon. 
You'll also receive this free souvenir bottle. This is exclusive to our gold season pass holders. Anytime you bring this souvenir bottle back for the season, you get free, free drinks and free refills all season long. You'll get 20% off food and retail and select Cabana Days instead of the 10%. And then you'll also get two Bring a Friend tickets um, to use during the season. So you can see the differences between the gold and the silver, and you can make your decision accordingly to what you'd like to do. Also new this year is our free pre-K season pass. Now this is a free season pass for children ages three to five. It's very easy. All you have to do is register the child online. You'll have to verify their age when you visit the park for the first time. That'll be with their birth certificate, social security card, just so we can make sure that they qualify for the age range. And then they just get to visit for free all summer long to Kentucky Kingdom and Hurricane Bay. So we're really hoping this will be a great incentive for families to be able to bring their kids and so that they can experience Kentucky Kingdom at a young age and start growing their love for the park. All right, on to the next slide. With the new year, <clears throat> we have some gone but not forgotten rides and attractions. So before we get to the fun stuff, I need to tell you and break the news. This next slide pains me. <clears throat> yes. So, uh, just kidding, T3, long live the king, that's never happening. Okay, but actually, realistically, we will say goodbye to Sun and Moon this year. Sun and Moon has been around since 1990, one of my childhood favorites. Sad to say bye, but give a good life here, Kentucky Kingdom. Next, the Rio Grande train. I know I see all of you out there every day on the Rio Grande train, so I know if you guys need to come to my office or her office and talk to us, we both welcome you all in open arms. Uh, Rio Grande will no longer be there, but it will be, we are moving Rowdy Racers, which you can see all over by Swamp Hunter Jacks. That will be taking its place, which if you remember, that is originally where Rowdy Racers was. Um, and last, we are saying goodbye to Deluge. Oh, no. Yes. Um, Deluge uh, was a great ride. Uh, 2007, Six Flags put Deluge in, um, but we are sad to say goodbye. But also, it does open up more area for expansion and more opportunities at Kentucky Kingdom. So, don't be sad. Deluge has lived a great life, but there's great things to come. All right, on to the fun stuff. Um, as you will see later, Thunder Run. We're always giving Thunder Run a lot of love, a lot of wood, and a lot of. We this year we gave it a retrack. Um, this is going to be the smoothest lift hill you've experienced probably since 2014. <laughs> it's going to be a nice, steady incline all the way to the top. You know, the best part of a roller coaster. Um, so yeah, we'll walk out there and you get some good pictures of this. Um, they just completed it about a month ago. Next, Splash Zone. Splash Zone got a lot of love as well. With how many water features this attraction has, it really needed a lot of love. It got a lot of new plumbing. It got a lot of its features improved and just refurb. And also, as you can see at the bottom, all the new concrete floor, uh, the buckets being refurbed a little bit. And yeah, it's going to be, Splash Zone is going to be brand new, essentially. Next, we have a new photo partner at Kentucky Kingdom, Kodak. We're really excited for this. Uh, it's going to bring a lot new, um, a lot more photo opportunities in the park. We have roaming photographers on the north side near the front gate and also on the south side in Hurricane Bay. So everyone, all your friends and family can get together, get pictures. Uh, also, there will be two on-ride photos that will be new frames, new experience, or um, a new photo on Storm Chaser and on Kentucky Flyer. And then our guest services window, which you saw when you walked in to the left, that will become our new Kodak Development Center. That's where you'll get your online or digital photos developed, and you can go home with those. So we're really excited about Kodak coming to the park. Next, Evolve Technologies. Kentucky Kingdom, we're really working on our security and that's why we're implementing the Evolve um, security screening. This is basically a walk-through touchless system. Unlike metal detectors, this you will walk through with your bag and all. And if you're good to go, this is going to get everyone in quickly and safely. And so we're really excited to bring this to the park because this will get you guys on roller coasters, all your favorite rides, much quicker. So yeah, we're excited. Something else new we're bringing this year is Kona Ice. So if you're not familiar, Kona, Kona Ice is shaved ice. They have tons of flavors that you can choose from. Um, so it's a nice sweet treat on a hot summer day. So we'll have this truck here visiting um, on certain days throughout the summer. So make sure to stop by and check it out. We also have gotten new tubes throughout the water park and we have new noodles for the Adventure River, which is really exciting. Um, so yeah. 
You'll also probably notice when you were here this morning, our ticket booths are now gone from the front of the park. So we are working on... Um, <laughs> you didn't notice. Perfect. <laughs> um, we're really focusing on kind of the speed of lines. We know people hate waiting in lines. We want to get people through as quickly as possible. So we are adding a couple of kiosks out to the front of the park. So these will be self-serve. You can walk up, you can purchase your tickets that day, and then you can enter the park. No waiting in line um, and dealing with the ticket booth. So um, that should speed up the, the process and enhance the guest experience as well. We have added over 500 new chairs to Hurricane Bay. So we have two different types of chairs. This will allow for extra seating and make sure everyone can um, grab their seats and make sure they can have a place to go for the day. We are also revamping all of our lockers. So you'll notice um, over in the water park, they're, they're kind of barren right now. The lockers are gone. So we're working on adding in new lockers. It'll be a different, previously you got a wristband and that's how you would open your locker. Um, these will actually be coded. So no more wristbands. You'll type in your code. It'll be a lot more user friendly. So we're excited to add in those lockers. So the entertainment side. We will say goodbye to the sea lions for this year, and we are happy to bring in the Pirani Stunt Dog Experience. Uh, we are positive that this will be your new favorite show. I can tell you, you know. <laughs> Thought that one last night. Um, so this will be a great show for the family and well, everyone. It's going to be dogs running around, jumping, doing comedy, all kinds of things like that. If you want to look them up, they do a great show. But also, you can experience that um, starting to, uh, May 28th through July 31st at our amphitheater. So check that out, it's gonna be great. Next, <clears throat> get ready for an adventure of mammoth proportions. Um, you can join Manny, Ellie, Diego, and Sid the Sloth at the 5D <laughs> yes. Cinema this year. It's gonna be a really good show. Yeah, I really think it's really cute. So um, check that out. It's gonna be there all season. So yeah. Well, it's AC works, it was hot last year. Uh, but they, you should not have to worry about it. It is Ice Age. I think they bring ice, but I'll double check that they do that. Um, and then on to whenever you guys can visit. Opening day, April 30th. Now, who's excited? <laughs> Who would like to come a little bit earlier? You guys are here early. You guys are here earlier. Carly's going to tell you how you might be able to get in a little bit earlier than that. All right, so as I mentioned before, the gold season pass is gonna have exclusive um, events and access to the park. So, we are adding a gold pass holder preview weekend. This is gonna be April 23rd and April 24th. So that's a week in advance. If you have your gold pass, you can come on in early and experience the park for yourself. So we really are excited to offer this to our gold season pass holders um, and be able to have you guys exclusively in the park. All right. And next, we also have um, early access. So this is something we're just announcing. We won't announce it to the public uh, for the next couple of weeks, so you guys are the first to hear it. Um, so on weekends in June and July, Gold Pass holders will be able to enter Big Surf one hour early. So this means there's no more hunting for a chair. You can get there before anyone else. You can stake out your chair for the day. You can even swim in the wave pool, only gold season pass holders, an hour before Hurricane Bay opens to the rest of the public. So all those brand new chairs, all of yes. all 500 of them. That's every uh, Saturday and Sunday in June and July. So we're super excited to offer that benefit as well. And then we're excited to bring back Keys of the Kingdom. Yeah. One of my favorite events here, besides this one, obviously. Um, it's going to be a little bit later in the season. We're going to have it on July 16th, Saturday. So it's a full day. We're going to have ERT in the morning, ERT at night. And I would love to tell you all the things in between, but that's coming. So it's going to be exciting. It's, it's such a fun event. If you haven't been, we have a great time. We run around and just enjoy Kentucky Kingdom like we're kids. So it's really fun. Mark so. your calendars now. Tell all your friends. We want to see all of you there. We want to have the best Keys of the Kingdom event we've had so far. So let's see if we can do it. And finally, all right, so last year we told you about our wooden coaster that we were getting. I don't know if, if you were last year, you got a wooden yeah, coaster. <laughs> but we're actually, uh, this year, everyone in Kentucky, Kentucky Kingdom and all of you are going home with a steel coaster. Yeah. So, along with that, what's a steel coaster without a Kentucky Kingdom mug for the top? So, all of you will be getting a Kentucky Kingdom mug with this nice little steel coaster. So, yes! Thank you guys for coming. Um, we're really happy to have you guys, really. Like
like it's a quiet place when you guys aren't here, and you guys are what gives Kentucky the life, and we really do appreciate all of you. And um, let's start this tour. Let's walk around Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs>